I just received a phone call. Our solar panels are out for delivery. They should be getting here in the next 30 minutes. Well, the delivery trucks arrived. They're driving backwards down our driveway so that they can get out easier. I'm not sure a big delivery truck could make it around this turnaround. Plus we have some stuff in the way. We got 37 Aptos 460 watt solar panels, bifacial solar panels. And we also have a 12,000 watt inverter being delivered. We just finished getting all the solar panels off the truck. It was quite the ordeal because they didn't have a forklift available. So we had to take off six of the panels. That leaves 31 left in the pallet. And we had to use our tractor here to pull it off the back of their delivery truck. There's some light, uh, light damage here to the frame of the solar panel, as well as on this side, not as bad. All of the glass looks intact no cracks or anything. These are the backs of the panels. This is what they look like on the top. We're gonna have to clean up this mess and figure out where to put these panels in the meantime. This tractor can barely move this pallet of panels. We're gonna try to go position it left of the connex. Well, the tractor isn't able to pick up this many solar panels. So we're gonna have to unwrap this pallet and just take the panels out one by one. We just got back from Home Depot and we purchased some storage shelves. We have two of them. We have a black one and we have a red colored one. And when we started moving the solar panels into this connex, we have six here so far. We have 31 more over there on the pallet. We have them leaned up against this back wall, but we don't want to take any chance that they accidentally fall down onto the floor. We're going to measure how much space we need for all 37 panels. And then we're going to be building the storage shelf right there on that, along that wall. We're going to build these up quick and then do some organization in here. Rain is on the forecast, so we're not doing anything outside today. Well, we just finished assembling this nice uh, shelving unit. It's easy to install, that's for sure. Yeah, no tools required, just putting things in these slots. And we got nice metal grates. And now we're gonna put together this red one. We're gonna have it right along that wall. We just finished putting together the red shelf. So the next thing to do is to start loading these shelves up with supplies. We're gonna have to figure out what stuff to put up on the shelves and what to keep accessible near the door because we're still building the outhouse. Don't wanna unnecessarily store stuff away, make it hard to access. And we measured this and this should be enough room for 31 more panels here all the way across to here. We're just waiting for it to just start raining like crazy here. I finished organizing the connex, put everything up on shelves. We got supplies here, we got some tools that we don't use very often, tools that we do use often. We got car supplies here, truck supplies, fluids, hitches. We brought in the miter saw because we're done with the framing of the outhouse. So this can come back in here and stay out of the weather. We got all the supplies needed for the outhouse construction. We got the door, we got tools that we've been using. Over here we got all of our bins set up and our tool bags. And today we're gonna work on getting all the rest of the solar panels in here. They're still over there on the pallet. 
We have to figure out a way to safely unstrap these without them all falling over because all 36 of these panels are vertical. So the moment we cut these straps, there's a potential for all the panels to tilt one way or the other and fall down. So we have some ideas about using some wood boards along with the tractor to kind of hold them up. We'll see how that goes. start undoing these panels very carefully and try to get them to lean up against these boards. Yeah. Expanding at the bottom. You want to do these? these? Garbage control. Push me a little bit. Oh, make sure the majority of the weight is towards this way. I just wanted to keep it straight up and down. Yeah. All right, all the straps are off. We're okay, getting. Okay, so the... start bringing them down one by one to the boards. Just one at a time, lean it on the boards. I'm doing the next one now. Here you go. There's plastic. I also need to inspect the glass of each one to make Are sure. Are you looking it's... it over? Yeah. I didn't do this first one though. No cracks, nothing. Okay, good. Poor dexterity. All right, we got all the panels leaning into the tractor. All the straps are off. We cleaned up all the top paper separators. There's still paper separators on the bottom but we'll have to take those off as we take off each panel and go put it into the Connex. We're just gonna do a little bit of cleanup here and then we can finally get this solar panel pallet out of the way. It's been in the road for the last couple days. Finished getting every single one of the panels off this pallet. So we left one of these out. We put it on our bench that we have over here because I want to test the voltage of this thing just to make sure that it's working. The question is how do we access the wires here? All right, I tilted the panel up, getting some good sun. I've got a multimeter hooked up, got the red hooked up to the positive end. Have it switched to DC voltage. We're going to try this side. And we're getting 40 volts. So I'm pretty sure that's correct for this panel. We just put the very last panel into the Connex. So we have a total of 37 panels here. We got the pallet all cleaned up out there. Dad did a good job. Since we're doing solar stuff today, I decided to get, get up on the roof here and tilt up all the panels. The sun has been getting lower and lower in the sky, so it's time to get these things tilted up to maximize our solar production. Dad's been taking apart the pallet that had all the panels on it, and we're going to have a big burn here in our burn barrel. the other end of the trailer. I got all the panels up except this last one. 
And we're right here next to our Starlink dish. It's making some weird buzzing sounds. Hopefully it doesn't fry my brain. <laughs>